Hi everyone, I'm Rinsey and this is Rinsey Reads. So today I am here with a very exciting announcement in my opinion, and that announcement is that I am going to be starting the Chunky Chapters book club. So I've been thinking about this for a while. I've actually been thinking about starting a book club for like years, but there are a few like factors that I'll get into that stop me from doing it. But recently I had the idea to do a book club specifically around chunky books. So the goal of this book club is to try to prioritize reading books that are over 500 pages. And this is something that I thought about personally because I was going through my physical TBR and I was thinking about like what book I wanted to pick up next and things like that. And I was drawn to a specific book on my TBR, but then I was like, oh, that book is going to take me a while to read. And I would rather wait to pick that one up later because if you watch my reading goals video, I'm trying to like read just as many books off of my physical TBR are as possible and so I knew like picking up that book would slow down my pace and then I started thinking more about like how I have a habit of doing that in general. A lot of people talk about like the number of books that they read every year or the number of books that they read every month and things like that and so in order to hit higher numbers they'll read shorter books and there's nothing wrong with reading shorter books but I do enjoy big books. You know, in the month of December, I read two really big books. I read The Love Songs of W.E.B. Du Bois and I read Anna Karenina and I really enjoyed both of them. And I also enjoyed the experience of like sitting down with a bigger book. And whenever I, I like take the time to read my bigger books, I usually enjoy them. I mean, obviously I don't enjoy all of them. That's a significant generalization, but I have like the same experience that I have with like maybe smaller books where there are some that I really enjoy and I'm really glad that I took the time to read them. And so in order to help myself as well as other people prioritize those books, I decided to start a book club. So this is going to be a Patreon specific book club. And I'm sure at least one person out there is thinking like, Rincey, why did you put this on Patreon? You could just run this book club on your own. And that's true. However, one of the reasons why I haven't started a book club in the past is because I am really bad with book clubs. Like I am really bad with kind of like assigned reading almost. And I'm really bad at like assigned reading over like a long period of time. So like I might join in on a book club like once, but then I won't do it again. And so I need some level of accountability. And so I am making this a Patreon book club. So only like patrons will be able to join in on the experience with it. I am keeping like the tiers at a pretty low price and I'll go over like the tiers and things like that in a minute but I do want to say like I recognize that that might be a barrier to entry but I did try to keep everything pretty affordable in my opinion. I mean affordable is relative obviously and I completely understand if you can't join in because of the price aspect of it but I did need like some level of accountability in order to make this something that I do consistently. The other reason why is because I'm going to be putting a decent amount of work into this and so that level of like compensation would be appreciated. So it is a Patreon specific book club. I'll have a link to it down below. So for details on how the book club will work, the goal is to read one big book every other month. Reading a big book every month feels like too much of a task and I feel like it will cause people, including myself, to get burnt out. But I think that reading a big book every other month is a pretty good goal and so therefore by the end of the year we could get through around six big books which in my opinion is really good. So my goal is to have the first read take place in March. I won't be the one picking out the books necessarily. I want this to be kind of like an open discussion and feedback loop and things like that and so the way that I have it set up now is that I'm going to present three books for the patrons to vote on. The winner of that poll will be the next big book that I read. I also have a spreadsheet that I started to put together with a list of a lot of books. And so that'll kind of be like a running list of ideas for books that we could potentially read. I want to be reading across genres and a across like different authors and around the world and books and translation and all that. So I've been slowly putting that list together, but I do have a specific tier that allows for people to submit their own suggestions or to basically like upvote almost some of the books that I have on my list currently. So I'll have that spreadsheet available on my Patreon as well. So that way whoever joins will be able to check that out and be able to provide some opinions. Another thing that I did is I basically created like a little survey for people who end up joining the book club. So that way I can get 
get your feedback on how you want the sort of discussion section to go. So the goal is to read one book over the course of a month and then in early the following month we'll have some sort of like live discussion about the book whether it be on like YouTube live or maybe like on Zoom or something like that so that way everyone can participate in the discussion. In my opinion I would rather do it that way than to just have me <laughs> talking to everyone else because part of the fun of a book club is being able to talk to each other. So I'm open to suggestions again in that regard as well. So there are three different tiers available in my book club. I decided to do like a peanut and peanut butter theme for my book club because I was thinking of things that are chunky and for some reason I went to chunky peanut butter even though I know it's like crunchy peanut butter sometimes most of the time but I like the idea of chunky peanut butter and so I made the three tiers like three different types of peanut butter. You'll see it when you go check it out but the first tier is only a dollar and that one is just like your basic access to the book club. So I'm going to be providing a spreadsheet if you want like sort of a detail like this is how much you have to read every day sort of situation breakdown of the book and like you know how many chapters you'll have to read in order to finish by the end of the month. You're not like required to follow that schedule but like it's there if you want it. You'll also have access to the weekly posts that I'm going to make. So they will be sort of like discussion posts based on the reading so far. I'll create either written out posts or videos or audio just talking about the reading so far according to the previous schedule and so that way like readers can comment on those posts you know they want to as they finish those chapters. The two dollar tier provides you with a little bit more of an opinion on the books that we read. So like I said there's going to be a poll every other month about the book that we read the following month and so you have to be a part of the $2 tier or higher if you want to actually vote on the books that we'll be reading. And then there's a $5 tier and so for this tier you'll actually be able to influence which books end up in the poll. And so the way that that'll work is that every month I'll send out a little survey to anyone who's in the $5 tier and they can either basically upvote one of the books that I already have in the spreadsheet or you can provide me with a new book to add to the spreadsheet. And so my goal with that is to basically start pulling out the books that people are the most interested in either reading or rereading with me. But I do want this to be a relatively collaborative effort. I don't want this to be just me picking out all of the books that I want to read and forcing other people to read them with me. Although, you know, I'm fine with doing that if no one else cares about which books we read. But I'm hoping that some of you all will join me for this journey. I think it'll be a lot of fun and I think especially with these bigger books it's a lot more fun when you have people to talk about them with especially if there's like a lot of things that happen over the course of the book. Like I know for me when I read these bigger books it's hard for me to talk about them in wrap ups and even sometimes in book reviews because there's so much that happens and so you almost need sort of like these at least midway point check-ins and things like that to like kind of cover what's happened so far because so much plot happens because these books are so long. And I also think that, that this sort of accountability will, will be really good for those of us who have a harder time picking up these bigger books. So since I want to start the book club in March there obviously isn't a lot of time for feedback from other people in terms of like what book that we will be reading in March and I also want to give people time to pick up a book and things like that. So for this first one this will be the only time Unless like again people just don't really care and don't ha have a pain strong opinions about which books we read in the future. But this is what I'm hoping to be the only time that I just pick three books for the poll. And so I literally just pick three books off of my physical TBR to read in the month of March. So hopefully people are okay with that but I think these are all three in potentially interesting books and they also cross different genres and things like that as well. So the books for March that we'll be reading one of these is A Girl is a Body of Water by Jennifer Nansubuga Makumbi. This is a historical fiction book that follows a girl named Karabo uh, who grows up in a small village in Uganda. I've heard really 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 good things about this book and I picked this one up for my birthday so I'm very excited to check this one out and I think it'll be a fun one to read together as a group. The next one that I have is A Lady Joker by Kaoru Takamura and this was translated from the Japanese by Marie Ida and Alison Powell. So this is actually the first book in this sort of like epic mystery series or a trilogy I believe uh, that was originally published in Japanese and is now getting published into English through Soho Crime. It's one of those books that I'm very intrigued to see how it goes because it is this very famous like mystery trilogy 
that was published in Japanese. And so I'm very intrigued by this one. I don't know too much about it, but it's a chunkster. And I usually don't read like big chunky mysteries like this. So I'm definitely very intrigued by this one. And then the final book that we'll be voting on is These Truths by Jill Lepore. This is a nonfiction book and the subtitle is A History of the United States. I've had this book on my list to read for a very long time. I really enjoy history books, especially history books that look at the United States. And so yeah, I've heard nothing but amazing things about this book. And so I would love to have some other people reading it along with me. So yeah, those are the three books that we'll be voting on for the first read, which will, again will happen in March. And I think that that's kind of like a good encapsulation of like the types of books that we could potentially be reading like we're going across genres one of them is the first in a series I will say that one of my like rules with this is that we don't read books that are in the middle of a series for obvious reasons but I am okay with reading books that are the first books in a series and if we end up reading the first book in a series as a book club I would be open to reading future books in that series in the future um, but again the people who are a part of the book club can discuss that together. So hopefully you'll be interested in joining the Chunky Chapter book club. Feel free to leave any comments down below you may have on the book club, anything that I didn't cover here, if you need any sort of clarification on the book club or the different tiers or anything along those lines. There will be a link to the Patreon down in the description below. I really hope some of you will come and check it out with me. I also have like different rewards depending on the number of people who join in. So you can check all of that out on my Patreon page. So thanks in advance to anyone who ends up joining. I mean, even if there's only like five of us, I'm happy to do this because I think it'll be really fun no matter what. So yeah, that's all I have for now. And thanks for watching.